It's been interesting watching the flow of information today. The details that this was a suicide bombing, the name of the bomber, all that information came from U.S. authorities, not British authorities. The Brits tend to like to guard that sort of information a little more closely until they've done more investigating. So the leaking of those details will be a huge frustration for them. What many intelligence officials will tell you openly, though, is that they have been worried about Manchester for a while. It is well known and has been for decades that um, Manchester has been a source of um, support, human resourcing for um, various Salafi jihadist groups, Al-Qaeda being one of them. The story of the bomber, Salman Abedi, is becoming a little bit clearer. He has a bit of a history of gang violence. That's a pretty common denominator with recent attackers, by the way. And he's from a neighborhood in Manchester known as Moss Side. It also has a history of gang violence that it has been trying to shake. It's the connections in that neighborhood that will prove key. So have a look at this. This is a home that was raided in Moss Side today. It's where Abedi was living. Just 100 meters away is a school that the Halani twins used to attend. Those are the young women who went off to join ISIS. About a kilometer and a half away from that, a man was arrested today. Some reports suggest it might have been Abedi's brother. So this whole neighborhood was also home to a man named Stephen Gray. He's in jail for funding terrorism. Ronald Fiddler also lived there. He died as a suicide bomber in Iraq in February. The Guardian newspaper has gone through a number of records and found at least nine other people from Moss Side associated with terror groups. At least one of the people of concern from that neighborhood is a known recruiter, and it's a man Abedi happened to know as well. Police will be desperate to untangle those connections. The cell phone records are really going to say a lot, and so will the types of explosives used, because different groups tend to favor different types of explosives, and whatever is in the bomb will often tell you who made the bomb. UK authorities are looking at the possibility he had some help with that bomb because it's extremely difficult to make a bomb yourself and have it be stable enough that it doesn't detonate prematurely. So the prospect that there is help out there really rattles them. In the last 18 months or so, the UK authorities have foiled more than a dozen plots. What has happened in that country has been uh, along the lines of knife or car attacks, but nothing on the scale of the complexity of Manchester. So they look at what happened last night and realize there might be a network at play, and that absolutely unnerves them. Adrian Arsenault, CBC News, Toronto.